Hey world, all right, so my travel, business travel slash mini vacation <laughs> adventures continue. I am in the middle of, I think it's Ponce de Leon College in St. Augustine. And let me tell you, I just had the most glorious time on the beach. It rained, it poured, I got soaking wet, but I danced on the beach in a storm and it was fun. It was probably not the wisest, safest thing to do. Definitely not how I envisioned my trip to Florida to end. <laughs> they say it's the sunshine state, right? But I've been doing a lot of thinking because Oops, it's kind of quiet up here. It looks like they're having a study group. Let me turn around. So, you know, driving from Brooklyn to Miami, <laughs> then now I'm back on my way, headed north. So, it was a long drive from Brooklyn to Miami. And I got to do some reflecting. And I just want to say to anyone was feeling discouraged about things not going the way they envisioned in life, that it's okay. So I started thinking as I was listening to my a mixed shuffle playlists on the way down, um, the hours and hours I was driving, and I had music in my playlist that I hadn't listened to in years. Just look at all this, look at this gorgeous architecture that I hadn't listened to in years from when I lived in France. So here's the backstory. I decided in eighth grade that I would live in France. Let's see what's in here. Oh, wow. Look at this architecture. Okay, the lighting's not great, but I'm gonna go a little further. I'm curious. It looks like a th uh, cathedral. It reminds me, I'm getting off track. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of, I guess it's a cathedral. Maybe it's a Catholic school. Just the way the arches are going. I'm not sure. It's very Spanish architecture. I'm in St. Augustine, and so colonizers, they just thought they should make things look like their home country in a country that wasn't theirs. But anyway. It is kind of cool, some of these things. Um, not the colonizing part, of course. Anyway, so yes. So I was listening to my playlist shuffle and what I realized was that as I, I am thinking about debating starting this video over, <laughs> the perfectionist in me, because I just went down a whole side trail. But anyway, the perfectionist in me wants to start this over, but I'm not going to. So yes, when I was driving, I was listening to my mix shuffled from my past, right? So songs that I listen to now from like 2022 all the way back to the 90s <laughs> when I was, you know, 20 years younger. <laughs> so in eighth grade, going back to where I started, I took a French class and I decided that I was going to live in France. And I remember my neighbor said to me, oh, you're not gonna live in France, how are you gonna do that? And I said, yes I am. And then I, I just kind of let it go. I kind of, again, like I was sharing in an earlier video, I didn't forget about my desire to, or my dream to live in France. It wasn't something that I gave up on, but it wasn't something that I was super focused on either. But then when I went to college, and I had freshman orientation, I realized that if I switched my major to French, I could live in France for a year. And so I did. And so guess what? Without putting in the effort, but here's the thing, 
I was keeping my ears open, listening for opportunity. I wasn't actively trying to stress myself out, getting myself figured out how I was going to live in France. That's not what I did. All I did was continue on my way in my junior year in high school, in the summer between junior and senior year, I did a three week exchange trip to France in the south of France because I kept my ears open for opportunities. And then I get to college, I go into freshman orientation, listen to the French professor who is the advisor for the exchange program to France, study abroad program, I should say, to France, I heard him speak about the opportunity for study abroad and I said, this is how I can live in France because three weeks is like a visit. But a year, it's not like a whole life, but it's enough to, you know, <laughs> have a lot of adventures and to kind of do what I wanted to do, which was travel and just enjoy life. I didn't do a lot of studying, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> But anyway, so here's the thing. Keep your eyes open and your ears open. Look and listen for opportunities that fit and are in alignment with the things that you're saying you want to do. And I am not just saying this for you. I'm also saying this to encourage myself because, you know, if you've been following my journey this past year, you'll know that starting in January of 2022 this past year it's been almost a full year I started going from a part-time entrepreneur to full-time entrepreneurship it has been an adventure and sometimes I'm really relaxed and it's like one day at a time I'm just doing my thing my part everything I can do every day and then other days there have been times where I have found myself stressed out, wanting to like tighten my fist, you know, grip on things because I'm like, I don't know how this is gonna work. Where is my next job <laughs> opportunity going to come from? When I mean job opportunity, I mean like in my coaching or my photography businesses, right? Where am I gonna get my next client, right? And sometimes I will have nothing on site, but about the time that I go to bed, <laughs> decide to release it, wake up the next day feeling relaxed and like I've let, let it go, that's usually when I get a phone call or an email. That, when I release that stress, that anxiety, it does say, I am a Christian confidence coach. God does say, cast our cares on him. It says he will not forsake us, he will not leave us. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. It says that he who has begun a good work in us will finish it. That also does a lot of times count for eternity as well, a complete salvation. But I think it also means in the here and now, he's just not gonna leave us. Yes, so look at this. <laughs> I like this little nook in here. Uh, so, so yes, this is the thing we have to do. We have to relax, we have to trust the process one day at a time because when we just trust, breathe, <laughs> and do our part, faith without works is dead, so do everything that we have to our knowledge to do without the impatience, without the stress, but just doing our part one day at a time and just releasing things. When I look back over my life, and that was what I have been doing as I've been driving the whole stretch of the East Coast, it feels like. Well, a good portion of it. I've just been thinking over and over again about how good God has been to me, how he's always provided, he's never let me down. And I'm gonna take a trip to this fountain over here. Frogs, I think the frogs mean something, but I don't know what they mean. My cousin who is a Spanish, professor would absolutely know. I do not remember what she told me about frogs. Um, so anyway, here we are. So anyway, we do our part, what we can, we release, look, listen for opportunities, 
Hi guys. <laughs> and uh, smile, breathe, and it's going to somehow all fit together, right? Um, there is a proverb that says, God never leaves his children forsaken and that his children are never found begging for bread. So I know that God is going to provide for me. I know God's going to provide for you with the opportunities, whatever it is that you are looking for as this year closes out of 2022 and you begin this new 2023 year, right? I feel a lot of people are uncertain, are afraid, unplug from the TV, unplug from the programming. This is my best advice to you. Unplug from that, plug into God's promises, plug into your purpose, plug into what you can do for yourself in your business or for your family, for your friends, for your community. Plug into those things, focus on those things, don't be an ostrich and stick your head in the sand, right? We want to be, you know, prepared and ready, but we don't need to be watching the news and letting whatever is being broadcast program us to be afraid, to be anxious for whatever the news will tell us <laughs> is coming. Um, so keeping our focus, doing our best, day in, day out, ears open, eyes open for opportunity, and it's gonna be okay. So I hope that this encouraged you. And like I said, I'm making this video as much for myself as for you. You know, I am a Christian confidence coach. And so the only reason why I am a Christian confidence coach is because I have gone through the struggles, right? The struggles of fear, of anxiety, of hurt, of pain, of having to redefine my identity after physical trauma and heartbreak, and just even navigating this interesting adventure called life, right? So, you know, this is a process and we learn as we go day by day. So I don't want <laughs> you, those of you who are listening to this, to think, I always have it all together. No. But because I have gone through a lot of these struggles, I can also help show and teach others how the, you know, I navigate through uncertainty because it has been real. <laughs> Life has always been unreal, you know, like real. Even like the uncertainty of the example of I have a dream I want to live in France someday. I don't know how it's going to happen. It doesn't even have to be a major uncertainty. But what tools, what strategies can you use? Can can you can you learn? Can you put into place so that you're not just on a roller coaster? Right? Uh, what's next? How's this going to all work? All right. I might be talking in circles because I am walking in circles around this really cool plaza talking to you. So I think this is good for this part of the trip. Um, but yes, yes, I wish you a wonderful rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, whenever you happen to be watching this video and peace.